My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install a Trapex magnetic filter onto your central heating system. The filter we've got today is the Genesis filter. This is the one with the valves. They also do a version without the valves so you can choose whichever one suits your needs better. So what we're going to do, I'm going to drain the central heating system down, we're going to cut into this pipe work and we're going to install the filter. Do you need a magnetic filter for your central heating system? Well, in my opinion, it's definitely a good idea. So what does it do? It'll stop any muck and sludge, or it'll help to stop any muck and sludge going into the boiler. In the boiler, you've got key components like pumps, diverter valves, and plate heat exchangers. And what we want to try and do is protect them as much as possible. So what we'll do, we'll strip this filter down, and I'll show you a little look inside. So we have got some valves on here. The valves are built onto the body of the filter, so there's no chance of them leaking there, which is a really good thing. When we take this filter apart, we can see we've got three O-rings on this. So we've got two on the body of the filter. We've also got one inside the filter. We've also got a 10,000 gauze magnet on this. So that's a really big magnet. And then underneath there, we've got a valve to drain it down. And we'll look at, look at that a little bit more later on. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the power off to the boiler. And then we're gonna drain the system down. So if we go to the radiator, you can see on here, we've got a drain off. So we'll just get this hose, put this hose onto it. And then we'll just open the drain off and then we can just drain it down. So we've drained the system down now. Now we check it just to make sure that it is drained down. So if you've got a pressure gauge, just have a look at the pressure gauge. We don't want any nasty surprises when we cut into the pipe work. Also, if we look on the box, we can see it's got a detailed diagram on there and it shows you how much to cut out. Also, we want to just make sure that we've got the correct clearances above. So if we've got to take the magnet out afterwards, make sure that we've got the correct clearances for that. We're now gonna mark the pipe and then we're gonna cut it out. So we're just gonna cut out 140 millimeters on this one. So now we're just gonna install the filter in place. It's important to remember this pipe here, this is the return back into the boiler. So the flow of water is going in this direction into the boiler. And on the filter, it's got a little arrow on there. So you need to make sure that that arrow is pointing back into the boiler. So all I do is I take the nuts off on the filter. Just makes it a little bit easier. You could put jointing compound on these olives as well if you wanted to. So you just put a bit of jointing compound around there. And then we'll just get this in place. They are a little bit tight to get in. And then all we do then is just tighten up the nuts and straighten the filler up. So that's the filter installed now. So all we need to do then is go top the boiler up or fill the boiler up, repressurize the boiler, and then just turn the boiler on. You may need to, or you may want to go around and just bleed some radiators as well. I have done a video on how to bleed a radiator. So please check that video out as well. What do we think to the filter? I think they're really good. Um, valves, do you like them with valves built in? Or do you like them without the valves? Put a comment below, let me know what you think. But yeah, so brass filter, got a good magnet in there, strong magnet. The valve on the bottom is really good as well. So as I say, you can use this valve here, got the connection on there, you can connect that onto the back of the valve there, and you can just open that. And if you wanted to, you could use a hose pipe. Um, I used to use the a washing machine hose and just connect that onto there. So if I go and do a service for a customer, connect my washing machine hose onto there, put it into a bucket, and then just drain it out. So really easy, really good, reliable, no problems with leaks. So yeah, I think they're a really good filter. Put a comment below though, and let me know what you think. If you like this type of video, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next video.